Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Blockstars team, Blockstars players, and some other latest updates we need to know on this channel. Ghana, yes, after we defeated Mali by two goals to one, we went ahead to defeat Central Korea Republic by some four goals to three. And it was really an interesting game that we played. Regardless of the results, regardless of the goal difference, Black Stars, yes, we garnered six points in these two games. And it was really important. Black Stars, before I'm Comoros who played yesterday, we were on top of our group. But right now, we've dropped. We will talk a little into this update. Then we also look at Coach Kwesi Apia. Yes, former Ghana coach. He's doing wonders at Sudan. And we will talk a little about him. We also look at Mohamed Kudus. What is the latest coming in from his camp? We will talk about him in this update. A little bit on Fatari Sahaku. Blasters players reacting to the win. Then, um, you know, Gold Pest trainer that is talking of Fatari Dauda. He has said something. You will check out all these updates and more. You know how we do it. Anytime you join us, take your time and like the video for me. After liking, don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Put us on post notification so that I'll drop the latest update. You'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Leave a chat and comment in the comment box. I also do well and give you guys some shout outs on those who commented under the last but one video on this channel. After watching the video, please share the link for others to also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel. So, no time to waste. Yes, let's talk about some updates coming in from Black Stars players. Yes, for now, they've all left camp. So, they are going to their families and enjoy because some few weeks to come, they'll return to the club side and continue to prepare for next season. And that is it also in them. As you know, Ghana, we won two goals to one against Mali away. And we went ahead to win 4-3. It helped Ghana to be on top of Group I for a meantime, I think, 24 hours. After that, yesterday, Comoros, they went away to defeat Chad by two goals to no. And they will have to overtake Ghana again on the, um, you know, log. So right now, Comoros is leading with nine points because of goals different. They've scored eight goals and considered four, meaning that they have plus of four goals. Then Ghana, we, start, we have 9 points, but we scored 7 and considered 5, meaning we have plus 2 goals. And that is how things also stand. As of now, for head-to-head -head 2, Comoros is leading us because they defeated Ghana 1-0 in that second game that we played in this particular World Cup qualifier. Madagascar, they are now placed third with 7 points. Yesterday, Madagascar drew goalless with Mali. And it was really interesting game. Madagascar got a record on the 16th minute and they played 90 minutes with it and never conceded against Mali. So Mali, they will have five points now in the group. Central African Republic with four and Chad with no point. The way Chad is going next year, Ghana have to catch Chad around March next year and we'll defeat them in Ghana. So don't worry. I believe that our boys will do the job for us and that is it also in there. So these are some of the few things going on and um, I have to actually update you on this channel. Now, with the World Cup qualifying, um, the next games, as I said, it is going to happen next year, March. So just um, have some patience. I'll bring you all those latest updates on this channel. Let me still stay with the qualifiers because we have one Ghana coach, Kwesi Apia. For me, I really rate him. I've been saying that the way he actually transitioned our team from that, um, you know, great players that we had from the Steven Apiers, ACNs, Asamojan, and we still performed at a particular level, going to semi-finals, Qualifying for the World Cup for me, I've always rated him. Yes, right now he's with Sudan and he's doing magic with them. For their group, they are leading a group that they have Senegal in there, DR Congo. I think still Senegal and Congo is picking up, but um, you know, he's still doing one as of now. He's on top of it and he's the talk of town if you go to Sudan right now. Sudan national team are not playing at their country because of those, um, you know, um, wars and a whole lot of stuff going on. But still, he's working with the team. A country that they are not even playing league, but still the coach is performing well. Let's tell you that, yes, Kwesiapia is doing wonders, and we have to give him his flowers. He's unbeaten so far in six of their last seven games, yes, and um, he won three goals to know yesterday against their rivals, that is South Sudan, and it was a good game for them. He's on top of their 2026 World Cup qualifying group, and we hope that he will at least maintain it to the end. If he's not able to maintain it, we are only hoping that he might play second so that he will also have opportunity to play the qualifiers, um, you know, in order to qualify for World Cup 2026. That will happen in USA, Canada, and Mexico. And that is it also on the coach. Now, let me come back to Ghana. Yes, after Ghana qualified, or after Ghana played those two games, yes, and we got those two wins, 
a lot of the Ghanaian players are reacting. Um, Tariq Lamte, who came to um, Instagram and he posted a picture or pictures of him playing for Ghana and he said, Great camp with the squad, two big wins, and my first time playing in Ghana. Really enjoyed it. What an experience. Thank you for the amazing support. Now, time to rest and recover. That is what he posted. I've seen Gideon Mensah who posted himself with Ghana flags and some emojis. Fatah Isaku also did a similar thing. Abdul Sal Sari Samed also did a similar thing. They are all putting the Ghana flag, the love emoji, and some few other stuff. Now, some piece of good news for us. So, a lot of the players are reacting, but let me move on to the next one. Some piece of good news. Majid Ashmeri, he is now working hard to return for his side analyst and also go on to play for Ghana Black Stars. So, you see a video here that Ashmeri is really working his way back. And that is his last time I brought you an update that he trained at the University of Ghana. Um, you know, there, there's a stadium there, the Daniel Stadium. He was there to actually train. And that is also a piece of good news for us. Now, let me come to Africa here. Yes, right now, the CIES, they are international football um, body. They actually bring out statistics and a whole lot of stuff. They've come out to actually indicate that in Africa here, Mohamed Kudus, he is the second most valuable player. And that is really an amazing one. The first player is Nicholas Jackson, who plays for Chelsea. He is actually valued at 99.3 million euros. Yes, and the second player who is the most valued is Mohamed Kudus with 89.6 million euros. Third player is Victor Boniface with 86.5 million euros. We have Victor Osimen who is also valued at 85.6 million euros. Then we have um, Brian Diaz, who is also valued at 76.4 million euros. We have some other players that we can talk about. Um, you know, the seed player is Papi Matasa of Tottenham Hotspurs with 70.1. We have Osman, um, Osmani Diamonde, who plays for Sporting CP with 60.1. Then it continues to um, Edmond Tapsoba. He is the eighth most valued player in Africa, 59.2 million um, euros. Andre Onana of Manchester United was the ninth. Um, he is also um, valued at 50.9 million euros, and it actually continues just like that. So that is also an impressive one. Now, let's talk about the all-time top scorers for the Black Stars team. Right now, Jordan Ayu, he's climbing and he can break some few records before he actually ends his time with the Black Stars team. Asam Wajan, yes, he's the all-time top scorer for Ghana with 51 goals. Yes, Kwasi, um, Kwasi Ousu also scored 36 goals. He's also a former Ghana player. Abedi Pele, yes, the father of um, Andre and Jordan. Then Rahim, he also scored 33 before he ended his career with Ghana. Edward Aqua also scored 30 goals. Tony Yagola Yabwa scored 29 goals. Jordan Ayu has scored 28. So it tells you that Jordan, he is now the seat um, all-time top scorer for Ghana. And he can actually move up. I think by the time he will retire, he can catch his father and probably Kwesi Ousu as well. For Samoja, I don't think Jordan can catch Samoja's numbers. You know, yes. Karu Razak is also there with 25. Then Andre Ayu, um, he also has 24. So the Ayu family, so far, they've contributed a lot of goals. Abedi, 33, Jordan, 28, and Andre, 24. They are all in the top 10, and it's really amazing for them. And that is it also in there. Now, from Black Stars Gold first trainer, that is talking of Dauda um, Fatal. He has actually revealed that Jordan Ayu, after training session, he will use about 15 minutes to practice his technique, that is penalty taking. And according to him, you cannot save a penalty against Jordan. Jordan will even tell you that if you're able to save the penalty, I'm going to give you $50. But you know what? He cannot save it. That is what he actually revealed in an interview with Ghana Web. Let's check it out. After that, we will talk a little. Have That's we been important. cares as a country when it comes to penalty shooter and getting a trophy? It's not me. I don't believe it's, like, it's, it's about cares. Mm. It's time for us, the players, to learn the technique. Okay. Okay. I tell you, if you learn the technique, Trust me. Let, me, let me give you one guy, Jordan, when I was in the nation, sometimes after training, the coach would give 15 minutes for individual workout. He play penalty with me, he said, Lion, if you save one, I will give you $50. Dollar, dollar Sunny. And he gives you? I can't you... save it. <laughs> I can't. All right, so that is it coming in from Fatal Dauda, the gold pitch trainer for the Black Stars team. According to him, Jordan Ayu, he is a very good penalty taker and it is a technique that we must learn as Ghanaians or Africans to make sure that we will improve our game going forward. And that is it also coming in. So the question that came to my mind was, 
why didn't Jordan take that penalty against Uruguay at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar? Maybe Ghana would have gotten a goal to lead in that particular game. But see, hey, um, Andrea used to stood up and it actually didn't turn out how he wanted. And that is it also in there. So these are some of the few latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team and also some updates we need to know on this channel let me give shout out to all those who commented under the last but one video on this channel before i take leave of you shout outs going out to akugri rauf yes thank you akugri i've seen you betty johnson's on this channel always yes betty johnson's county well thank you i've seen you prince and here is also on this channel i've seen you um agbenu imano is also here jumo samson is here babo jackie is present s romani eric you are here Mr. Vody, thank you. Barak 6365, I've seen you. NS Tamitafi is also on this channel. Fiaku Carriage, I've seen you. Adepa 1212 is here. Levenstein, Elena Mamaluku, thank you for being here. Jumo Samson, okay, let me move on. Adepa 1212 is here. Agbenu Imano is on this channel. Governor Beku is here. Nathaniel Diagram is also on this channel. Jeremiah Insult is here. And Jeffrey Kofi Kakari is also on this channel. So these are all the latest updates on this channel. And um, don't forget to always like the video for me, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later. Hey,